this video, we're going to take a look at exporting your Fusion 360 models to Cadasio so you can create some great interactive technical communications. The first thing you want to do is create a Cadasio account. This is really quick and easy. You simply go to www.cadasio.com and click sign up. Once you've entered a valid email and chosen your password, simply click sign up and you'll be sent a confirmation email. Follow the link in that email and you'll be good to go. You'll also want to download our purpose-built add-in for Fusion 360. On the Cadassia website, click CAD add-ins, click Autodesk Fusion 360 and you'll be taken to the downloads area. Fusion's brilliant in that it runs on both Windows and Mac operating systems. So when you pick your add-in, make sure you get the appropriate one for your system. I'm running a Windows system, so I'll choose that, but the procedure that will follow this will be exactly the same as if you're on the Mac. I'm going to click the download link. I'm using Chrome, so it shows at the bottom what I've downloaded. When you're ready to install, make sure Fusion isn't running, and I'm simply going to start the file that I downloaded. Depending on your Windows setup and you, the security you run, it may pop up with a warning. If you, if you do see this, simply click more info and then click run anyway. Make sure you read the license agreement in full and if you're happy, tick the tick box and click next. During the installation, the first thing it will ask is your Cadasio email and password. You can actually skip this step, but since we created one earlier, you could put it in straight away now to save time later on. Simply click install, and within a couple of minutes, the add-in will install and you'll be ready to go. Great, now it's done, I'm gonna start Fusion up. Once Fusion has started, you're going to want to make sure that the Cadasio add-in is enabled. Go to Tools, Add-ins, scripts and add-ins. A new dialog will pop open, go to the add-ins tab and you should see Cadasio listed under my add-ins. If you single click it you can choose to have it run on startup and just hit the run button here. Now Cadasio will be listed under your add-ins tab. Well let's try it out and upload something to Cadasio. I'm going to use one of the uh, training assemblies that comes with Fusion. So let's just open up uh, this two ton car jack. And let's get it sent to Cadasio. So I'll go to Tools, Add ins, and Cadasio. From here, I'm going to create a new project which I just need to give it a name. So let's call it Car Jack. So I'll click OK. And what will happen now is that Fusion will convert your files ready to be sent and uploaded to Cadasio. Depending on how many components you have in your assembly or, and how complex the parts are, this may take a minute or two. Once it's done, you'll be given the option of opening it straight away in your default internet browser. So I'm just going to click yes. It'll open up into Cadasio where I can now start making my interactive instructions. So let's just make a couple of changes. Let's perhaps just uh, move these around a bit. I'm not going to do anything particularly uh, good. I just want to make a step to show you a few little tricks. I then click create. That's great. So I've made a single step and you see the camera changes and also the position of the parts change. Now one really good thing about using the uh, add-ins that we have for Fusion is that you can actually update your technical communications when the design changes. This is really good because obviously if you make a, a mistake or a design change then uh, you don't have to redo your entire project but it also means that you can start work on your, your 3D project 
before your design's actually finalized. So back into Fusion, and I'm just gonna put a hole in one of these components, just something really quick, just so you can see uh, how to update using the Fusion plugin. So let's just whack a hole in here like so. I'm not bothered about its size um, or its, its, its position, but you'll see if I zoom in, we've got a hole in that top plate. Now, when I go to my add-ins again and choose Cadasio, I'll actually be asked a different option. Cadasio realizes that we've already created a project using this assembly. So I'll have the option to either create a brand new project in case I wanted several uh, Cadasio projects using the same assembly, or I could update the existing one. So if I choose to update, I'm going to click yes. It will show me any projects that are associated with this assembly. I can put some change notes in, so added whole. It'll tell me the model version. I simply click OK. And it'll go through the process of um, converting everything again, ready to be sent to Cadasio. Now what I'll do if I go back whilst that's converting to my project and I'm just going to sit here while it's converting, a really nice feature of Cadasio is that it'll actually tell us if you have another file version available. This means that you might have your CAD guy making some changes and once he's uploaded it the person doing the documentation will be notified straight away. Great, so you'll see the new file version has become available. It tells me the version, it tells me the comments that have been added and asks me if I want to set it as the active file right now. So I'm gonna say yes. So it's just gonna reload the model. You might see it jump back and forth a bit while it gets everything sorted. But once it's reloaded, I've now still got my two steps. I can go back and forth, but you'll notice I've now got a hole in that top plate, saving me any rework of the document. And that's true whether I have two steps like I've got here or if I had 100 steps. The changes will propagate through nicely, saving me a lot of time and a lot of rework. Great, so hopefully that's given you an idea of how to use the Cadasio Fusion 360 add-in to upload a project and also update a project.